Uh, many of you who have experience with complex neural nets know that it is computationally very complex. And uh, today's uh, processes are constantly being designed to tackle that. And because of the high importance uh, given to the training and inference alone, data pre-processing is often neglected and lost. So you might be surprised to find out that your, uh, the newer, faster hardware is not producing the expected throughput for the machine learning workload, and the bottleneck might be in the data loading and pre-processing. So in this talk, you will learn about how to speed up the AI data pre-processing using ROCAL. And ROCAL stands for ROCAM Augmentation Library, and which is AMD's uh, uh, open source library for data pre-processing. So first, I will introduce why we need ROCAL, go through its pipeline and architecture, and I'll go through some operators for data loading versus augmentations. The importance of flexible pipelines which can scale across multiple devices. And the second part of this talk will be about how to use ROCAL. So I will deep dive into one MLPerf um, object detection example with ROCAL and conclude with some performance advantages and challenges. So um, if you look at today's machine learning space, it's very complex. There are many data formats. Each of the framework um, has its own data format. So data can come from a list of files, a TF record in case of TensorFlow, record IO for MXNet, LMDB for CAFE, CAFE2, et cetera. And there are many frameworks one has to choose. And at the end of the day, uh, you need to choose what process processor to choose for your machine learning uh, application. So the processors can be CPUs, GPUs, a custom processor, or an FPGA. So the call to action for that is um, uh, you need a unified library which can scale across all this space and where uh, um, all the optimizations are one place. And another problem is, um, if you look at today's GPU performance, it increases more than 2x with every new generation. And the native pipelines of the framework mostly use CPU cores for pre-processing data before um, training. So what happens is, as training gets faster with GPU, the pre-processing need to catch up. This can be seen from the AMD's Epic servers with Radeon Instinct MI100 compared to Radeon Instinct MI200 processor. So uh, with MI200, you get more than 300 teraflops of FP16 uh, compute, and uh, the performance of your training increases by almost 3x. As you can see from the graph on the right-hand side, where the green line represents the training speed, which linearly increases as you go to the newer generation of the GPU. But your overall throughput, which can be seen as the red line, is bottlenecked by the uh, pre-processing speed. So what happens is the falling CPU to GPU performance throttles the overall performance of your machine learning workload. And you need a high-performance library that can load balance between CPU and GPU.